Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soap, spoke to Young and the Restless, and the Bold and the Beautiful. And this is your Bold and the Beautiful Recap for August 16, 2022. And we saw in this episode, Steffi still involved in her parents' love life. We also saw Hope still in crisis mode over this Thomas Douglas situation. And as much as Brooke wanted to talk about Thomas, she ended up getting information that she wasn't ready to hear. So before we unpack this, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and please don't forget to like and share. Let's jump into this. So we're over at Forrester Creations and Steffi just won't back off. She is still pushing her parents to this whole conversation about them being together now as much as they were talking about thomas and what's going on with his son and him trying to rearrange the living arrangements for douglas steffi will not let up on the fact that ridge need to come home to the forrester family she's starting up this whole uh, logan versus forrester thing because she feels that, you know, we're the Foresters. He needs to be part of our family. And the only other person that needs to be part of our family is dad as well. So we get a little bit of a break briefly because Steffi takes leave. And then there's this whole googly-eyed moment between Ridge and Taylor. And I'm like, Taylor, really? The guy is still married. Let him clean up his unfinished business and at the same time the kids are looking on like yep why won't you just go ahead and do what you got to do so now it's a conversation between ridge and thomas and thomas wants to make a request so what this request is about is whether or not he should ask eric his grandfather to move in with douglas at the forrester mansion now you know, Thomas gave a compelling argument saying that, you know, I want to learn from him. I've learned from the, you know, I could learn from the best plus. And while he was talking, guess who comes in? Eric. So this is his opportunity to pitch his idea to Eric. And, um, you know, of course we knew what Eric's answer was going to be. But pretty much just to say, hey, you know, um, I'm considering having Douglas come be with me full time. And I want to know if I can move in at the Forrester Mansion. And of course, without any hesitation, you know, Eric was like, of course, I like it when family is in the home. And look like as much as Ridge was given pushback before, it doesn't seem like he's given that much pushback now. So I'm assuming he's in support of this. But all in all, the conversation ended up being very, you know, very positive. And so now, um, you know, he has Eric's blessing to go ahead and move into the Forrester Mansion if, in fact, he even get Douglas, right? So back to Steffi. Steffi, again, is applying pressure on her mom. But as much as she's trying to talk about the Monaco situation, Steffi is still pushing but taylor is like you know what nope we're gonna talk about your brother it's a great thing he needs to move back home with his father where he should be and you know and steffi is like come on mom that's not the only thing we need to talk about we need to talk about this kiss in monaco and i'm like steffi stay out of your parents love life they they told you they got this let them have that but once Steffi walks away, of course, we see Taylor reminiscing on what happened in Monaco, of course, and that whole kiss. I mean, have she ever kissed this man before or was this the kiss of all kisses in that moment? Because she cannot live this kiss down, you know, and I mean, she is just mulling over this and I'm like, girl, it is not all that. Speaking of a budding relationship, we are now over at the Spencer Mansion where we see both Lee and Bill having this conversation. Now, of course, they're still talking about how she feel betrayed by Jack and, you know, um, the lies that he told. And that's why they're not really together at this point. And, you know, she's just 
she's laying it on thick about how great Bill was and he's just a wonderful person and you know I mean where's your wife so the conversation switches and you know as much as he talked about how you know his two adult sons he spent time with them Will is away at boarding school however things didn't work out that well with Katie and so they've not married. They haven't been together. And as much as she said that she hate cheaters and liars, she says that the fact that Bill kind of cheated, she's not going to hold that and lump him in with the sins of Jax. Because I guess that's something different. Still lying and cheating. Now, of course, Lee doesn't really know Bill Spencer as well as we as the fans do. But Jack is a cakewalk compared to dollar bill spencer and some of the things that he's done some of the lies the cheating almost having somebody killed he has a history so i don't know if lee want to sign up for this but at this moment she's making any type of justification to be with him and somehow she landed in his arms which took him you know off guard you know and it took him a while to embrace her but she was fully embraced in bill's arm and i thought for a moment they were going to kiss the way she looked up at him and he looked down at her i'm like yep it's only a matter of time you know bold rushes relationship so we'll see so now we're over at el giardino the conversation continues after um deacon and liam leave so it's just brooke and hope and again hope is still in crisis mode you know and of course brooke is like we can't let this happen this cannot happen yes you know thomas has made some strides but you know he belongs with you you know he, and i have no problem with him spending time with his father but when he comes home at the end of the day he comes home to you and you and liam have been great at this and you know i i like I said yesterday in my recap, I wonder if they can do a full split, like joint custody, but 50%, 50%. But it's it's just a crazy situation. And Brooke says, well, you know what? I'll talk to Ridge. So she sneaks over to Forrester Creation because he wasn't paying attention, lost in thought, probably like Taylor was. And she said, you know what? We need to talk. I got some stuff to talk about and this is really important and he was like you know what yeah we do need to talk now these two people are two, on two different pages ridge want to talk about monaco brooke want to talk about thomas and when he started talking about monaco brooke is like why are we talking about monaco and she was like we don't have to talk about it and he was like yeah we do because unfortunately i need to break the news to you that Taylor and I kissed and the shock on her face um I'm surprised that she didn't launch but you know it left us with this cliffhanger as you know what she was going to do more than likely she's going to be pissed because of course they're still married even though he's not committed to her or whatever but it did take her by surprise to say the least my question is what is her next move on this you know is she going to rage out at taylor over this because i know she's going to be filming or is she not going to forgive ridge and say you know what i'm pissed off but she would be a hypocrite but we'll have to wait and see because they left us with this as a cliffhanger in today's episode all right, so there you have it, the recap for The Bold and the Beautiful for Tuesday, August 16th, 2022. If you haven't checked out The Young and the Restless for today's episode as well, go over there and check that out. It has been uploaded to this channel. So until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye.